So I want to talk about one Packers player who really has a chance to take his game to the next level in 2024. And I want to base it off of this quote that I saw here posted by Paul Brettel of Packers Wire from the vice president of player personnel for the Packers, Eric Sullivan. He said this, Devontae Wyatt, I think he's going to thrive in this defense, said Sullivan. Where you can kind of just pin your ears back, get off the ball. That's what he was at Georgia. Quick, work work edges, penetrate, disrupt. I think there's a bunch of guys who are going to benefit from what we are doing. And then I also want to share this quote that sort of can go along with that from Jeff Halfley that I shared earlier about the defensive line and sort of his plans for how, how they're going to play. He said this, they're getting off the ball and they're playing fast. And that group has to attack. That's not going to be a passive read and react. No, they're going to go and they're going to get off the ball. Before we break every meeting, I dismiss them and talk to them. I tell them to go get after the quarterback and that's what they're going to do. And that was per uh, Pete Doherty of uh, PackersNews.com where I got that quote. So the Packers defense, especially this defensive line, is going to be much more aggressive than it has been in years past. And I want to share a good explanation of why this is going to be. This is from Paul Brettel of Packers Wire. I thought he explained it very well in his article. He said this, Recently, Kenny Clark mentioned that Halfley's defensive system will be really good for the interior defensive line, allowing them to be way more disruptive. Former Packers defensive tackle Mike Daniels said the role of the interior defenders in this type of defense will be simplified. In Joe Barry's 3-4 defense, the interior defenders were responsible for two gaps, having to read the offensive line and the ball carrier, deciphering which gap was more vulnerable, and then trying to fill that void. Interior defenders in this style of defense are often space eaters, and it's their job to help the linebackers and edge rushers make plays. On the flip side, in Halfley's system, the interior defenders are responsible for only one gap, allowing them to cut loose and get upfield, creating what is hopefully a more proactive than reactive approach along the defensive front. So basically, the biggest difference for the defensive line this year with new defensive coordinator Jeff Halfley compared to with Joe Barry last year is that last year they had to, you know, keep an eye on two separate gaps. And so instead of being able to just right off the ball, penetrate one gap on the offensive line, they had to sort of be more, you know, read and react and decipher, you know, which gap to go in and sort of, you know, operating in, in two gaps instead of just going after one. And that's what the difference is going to be for this season. So you'd expect someone for like Devonte Wyatt, who I think did take a big jump when it came to production last season, especially when it comes to rushing the passer, you would assume with this change in defense that he's going to get a lot more opportunity. And it sounds like the quote I read from vice president of player personnel, Eric Solvin, he believes that this is the kind of defense that Devontae Wyatt is really going to thrive in. And if we look at Devontae Wyatt, his two years with the Packers after being drafted in the first round of 2022, in his first season, he had 222 snaps. 2023, he basically doubled that snap count, 552 snaps. His first season, when it came to rushing the passer, he had eight pressures and two sacks. This past year, 45 pressures and seven sacks. So he went from eight pressures to 45 pressures. So a much more productive season when it came to rushing the passer. The only problem with Devontae Wyatt's game, especially last season, was his missed tackles. He had 13 missed tackles, which led to a 28.9% missed tackle rate, which is not good at all. Uh, Those stats are per PFF. And so... The one thing I think we saw with Devontae Wyatt last year where he struggled at times was finishing plays. There were lots of moments where he, you know, sort of did his job, was getting to the quarterback, and then was unable to wrap up. That definitely happened a lot of times. And if he can, you know, learn to wrap up more and not miss those tackles, his sack number is going to go way up. His pressure is going to go way up. And I am interested to see, you know, just the difference in his game when he's able to operate in, in this new kind of Uh, Jeff Halfley defense and it sounds like the Packers expect him to take another step forward and I do think the Packers when it comes to defensive line it's probably one of the uh, deepest positions on this Packers defensive unit you know Kenny Clark TJ Slayton Devontae Wyatt Uh, there's just a lot of players here Colby Wood and Carl Brooks drafted last year there's a lot of players who I think have a, a good ability to you know, make a difference here in this Jeff Halfley defense. And at times last year, you know, you wonder watching under the Joe Barry defense, how much of the lack of a run defense was because of the scheme or because of the players. At times, I think, you know, you can blame both depending on situation. Um, But I think to be able to see what Jeff Halfley is going to be able to do here with a lot of these same players 
is really going to show us, you know, what has been happening in the past couple seasons. Was it the players? Was it on the players? Was it on Joe Barry? And if we see Jeff Halfley come in here and these guys, these defensive linemen, take their game to another level, I think we'll have our answers. But if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.